Hey, snakes. I hate snakes. I mean, I don't hate snakes, but I'm scared to death of snakes. And guess what day 172 is about for the Daily Scare Share? Oh, Sharon Horn Elstrom here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case we haven't met yet, go ahead and put in the comments below, hashtag pajama. And then I know it's the first time you're hearing my voice or seeing my face and learning about doing one thing a day that scares you from the book, Do One Thing a Day That Scares You. My daughter challenged me early this year to get out of the rut that I've been living in because I've been in a big rut. You know, a rut is just a grave with the ends kicked out. And I was doing some really boring routine things. And she knew that I wasn't 100% happy and that I needed to do more and be more and show up more as me in the world. And so she challenged me to do that by finding this book on my bookshelf and saying, hey, cool book, which is all it took for me to know that I did need to do something. And you know what? I knew all along I needed to do something. I just was scared and didn't know what to do. So this little book, it's day 172 today, has given me a lot of courage and stretched my comfort zone dramatically. And we're only about halfway through. So what will I be like by the end of the year, you're wondering? Oh my God, it could be, it could be crazy, right? But I hope you join me. I hope you do this with me. Do one little thing a day to stretch your comfort zone and see how amazing you feel. It does incredible things for our lives. It opens up opportunities that we never thought would open up to us. We meet people we never thought we'd meet. We go places we never thought we'd go. And we do things we never imagined that we were capable of doing. And that is exciting stuff. So what is today's daily scare share, you ask? Let me get my magnifying glass out and look at it. Because my eyes, they're real fuzzy today. It says... I'm not about to go out and buy a snake for a pet. I mean, I may have faced a few fears, but I'm not insane. That is by Kristen Davis. And today's challenge is, today I ventured outside my natural comfort zone by, and then the blank lines. So today, how will I venture outside my natural comfort zone? How will you venture outside your natural comfort zone? Now for me, I love nature, so I don't find nature the least bit intimidating, unless, of course, I'm being chased by a bear or a tiger or something like that or a snake. I don't like snakes. Nothing will get me to scream like a little girl and jump and run faster, and I don't run, we know, than seeing a snake on one of my walks at the state park. Now, I will admit that in the last eight years of going there almost every day, I've only seen three snakes. Now, I know there's millions of snakes out there, but I just don't ever want to see them, and I hate it when they cross my path. Another thing, though, whenever a snake crosses my path, it means there's something that I need to pay attention to in my life. It might not be a snake in the grass, but it, there's something that I am not necessarily seeing that I need to look for and find out what's going on because it means there's something that's a little off or just not right in my life. I know, crazy, right? Who knew that seeing a snake actually meant something for me? I didn't know. Now I know. Anyway, what can you do today to stretch your natural comfort zone? Go out, do it. Maybe it's just taking your socks and shoes off and going and walking in the grass. Maybe you're a little um, agoraphobic or something and it's hard for you to get outdoors and just let the sun shine on your face. Do whatever it is for you that stretches your comfort zone. And I will see you tomorrow with another Daily Scare Share. Don't be scared. Bye.